Hello, y'all. I'm back. Um, so the lady that was supposed to call me, <clears throat> she just called me. Um, and then I was in the middle of doing the other video, so then I just went to return her call. <clears throat> and so, you know, the housekeeping and errands. See what I mean? That's a job opportunity that I can't get because I need a car. A lot of jobs, you need a car nowadays. So, she said, well, she wasn't sure if it was going to work out. Because, when she, you know, she asked me, tell me a little bit about yourself. And so, you know, I explained, I said I'm homeless and I have a bachelor's degree. I have a college degree in, in Spanish, and but I'm still not fluent. And, you know, so... And I told her that I'm, you know, a single disabled homeless female and stuff. So, um, she's like, you have a bachelor's degree and you can't find work? I'm like, well, I'm like, yeah, you know, and she's like, well, yeah, I know there's a lot of people that have a degree, but, <clears throat> but she couldn't believe it though, <clears throat> that she said that, um, <clears throat> she was like, you have a bachelor's degree and you can't find work? And I'm like, yeah, you know, but I couldn't, could not explain <clears throat> that is due to the gang stalking, you know, so, you know, it was a brief conversation, it didn't last that long, and, um, I, I mean, she said she interviewed another lady earlier today, but thought it wasn't going to work out, but I'm like, wow, that would have been an opportunity, because I, I would have needed something like that, you know, the fact, I mean, work and exchange for you know a place to live that would help get me off the streets and she said that she's in a walker and stuff like that and she said well you sound like me because you know i was honest you know saying that i'm disabled and i had two children i was five but i can work but i can't move like fast like hotel kind of fast you, you know but i can do it but you know i mean i said well you know if i can clean up the bathroom it might take me, if if it takes, if the bathroom's semi-clean, it, it could take me like, you know, 20 or 30 minutes to, um, Okay, so that looks like an unfamiliar bastard-ass perk vehicle that don't stay here, making all that damn noise. But anyway, um, so she's like, well, you're in the same boat as me, you know, but she said she'll think about it. But if I don't hear an answer by Tuesday night, then I'm going to have to, um, you know, renew more nights here than, um, and I, and I, you know, said that, you know, I, you know, I, I'm willing to help and do the job, you know, so I don't know. She said she was going to think about it, but, but that's it. You know, if you got a, got, I mean, a college, a bachelor's degree and can't get a job anywhere, they, people think that don't make no sense. Well, they think, well, so, I mean, I've had people who thought I was trying to bullshit them or figure there's something fucked up in my life that I did that I'm in this predicament, you know, even before I realized I was targeting, I mean, before I was targeted, um, it's like, now, like employers, they wonder why I don't have that much work experience and they make it like as if, you know, I got some explaining to do. So, um. I got some explaining to do, but I can't say what I really need to say in a way that they will understand. You know, I'm in this predicament and I'm blacklisted, can't get a job anywhere because I'm a target individual being gang stalked. And then I had another job opportunity, you know, that I was forced to miss out on because of the chest pains. And then bastard, perp bastards hitting me with the energy weapons in my heart. On purpose to make me panic and feel like I'm going to, now I'm having a heart attack. And they say that, you know, when you have chest pains, you know, sometimes they say a heart attack is a silent killer. 
So I have the desire to want to better my life and improve myself, you know, and my health and wanting to eat healthier. And, and that's why I said I wanted to get a toaster oven or something because, I mean, it's the closest to an oven that I can get. And plus the food would taste better and be fresher. And, you know, dealing with the microwave, you know, the radiation and all that with the microwave, um, you know, it's, I'm going to ask for permission because I don't know. Um, I'm going to ask, you know, if I'm allowed permission to have um, a toaster oven or there was a such thing called hot plates or something like that. But, you know, I didn't see in any rules in, in the rules. I did not see whether or not you could have a toaster oven and stuff. But, you know, I mean, it's the closest I can get to a regular oven, you know, because microwave damage your food. Um, and it's just not good for you at all. And and me microwaving nearly, me microwaving almost all of my food, I know that's not good for me. <clears throat> um, so, like, I mean, I still have salad that I'm, planning to eat for dinner today the um the little salad bag and um i've been just procrastinating with cutting up the radishes and beets but i know i need to do it but i don't think i have the proper kind of knife because i got the cheap knife <clears throat> for like less than a dollar and i would end up accidentally cutting myself before I cut prop can properly cut the, I didn't realize that was the kind of knife I got, so I would have to go and um, you know, I, that knife is no use. But the better knives to have to cut up vegetables and stuff, they're like in pairs and packs, and they're more expensive. And I and that was all I was able to afford at the time was that ninety eight cent knife or whatever. To, I mean, it can cut up some carrots, but some technical like beets, I can't, um, you know, because I, you know, it was a fake T.I. perk suggested that I cut, I mean, get me some fresh beets to help purif purify my blood, you know, because they say that if you drink beet juice with no fiber or carrot juice with no fiber, then you're putting yourself at risk for blood sugar spikes and stuff like that. But I'm not diabetic, though, because, um, <clears throat> you know. So, I still want to try to better my, improve my health and eat more nutritious rather than, you know, I cut out fast food, mainly, you know, like McDonald's, Burger King. I no longer drink sodas, but every now and then I'll have fruit juice to drink. But, I mean, I try to stay away from the pasteurized orange and apple juice, but every now and then I'll have it. Like if I'm at Denny's or something like that, or some cranberry juice, but it's not every day or even every week, but every now and then. <clears throat> so I even try to save money at restaurants by just ordering water instead of fruit juice or milk. Um. So, but sometimes I'll buy, um, you know, orange juice if I go to Waffle House or something, but. I won't touch sodas no more unless it's ginger beer. I won't touch sodas anymore unless it's ginger beer. Um, or unless it's a guaranteed organic kind of natural soda. But then again, they're like, watch out for the sugar. Um, so... I don't even drink those, but I love the ginger beer and seldom get to have ginger beer. So, um, that's all I wanted to talk about, um, in this little video, cause I gotta go, I gotta go and eat and I gotta go take a shower and I gotta go get ready. So I'll see y'all later. Um, bingo. <laughs>